Hey guys, and welcome back to Deep Fear. When we last left off, we were exploring a new area. Uh, we're trying to get some... What was that? Ah, that's the elevator. Yeah, we were trying to get some uh, information uh, copied for our friends so we can get the blowtorch so we can open the door. Okay. And this sounds like a very dribbly wet area. Ooh. Okay, and we've got an oxygen regen thing, which sounds good. It's Big Jim. With it, you can operate deep, uh, operate deep underwater. Well, that's good. We like that. Then we need some kind of code or something to operate Big Jim. Looks like I can obtain the data for Big Jim from this terminal. Uh, okay. That. Sounds like something we want. You've used the MO. That's nice and quick. Well, that's what our Japanese friend wanted, so we now have that. Hopefully he'll keep his end of the bargain and allow us access. Uh, oh, nice. Nice bit of air in here. We can recharge that bad boy too. Oh, much better. Kind of almost running out of air for a second. Uh, right, let's drop a save there. And continue exploring. Ah, oh, nice to have some oxygen in here. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Can't see anything. We just spam the search button. You never know. Box of shotgun shells would go amiss. I'm just saying. Even if the shotgun shells are empty. So I'm guessing we're going to have to use Big Jim at some point. Big Jim looks awesome. Anywho, that's another one of those rooms searched. Let's have a little gander and see what else we need to search here. Uh, right, so there's another one down the end of the corridor that we haven't searched either. Now, I can't quite remember where this... Oh, it's a storage room. Nice. Get some more ammo. Yeah, I can't remember where the door is that we need to cut, but I'm sure we can find it. Oh, haven't seen any enemies for a little while. That's okay. A bit of shotgun therapy. That's what the doctor ordered. I like this shotgun. I am a fan. Nice. 48 shells. Beautiful. Uh, doesn't look like this. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, so each one of those we pick up gives us uh, six more cartridges. Which, you know, that'll do. We'll take it. Shotgun is definitely the best weapon in the game so far. Whether it's the only other weapon we get in the game is yet to be discovered. But I'm a fan. Now, let's go get Matey Boy's information, shall we? That's if, you know, he hasn't, like, been horribly murdered or anything. Mate, you may well have been. Terrible, that would. What are we going to do with this data? Right. Now, where was he? Uh, he wasn't in the poison gate. Ah, yeah, he was in that. One to the south. Well, I think we're going the right way. Equipment, yeah, the equipment room. I can just about read that. Oh, he's not dead. Here. Thank you. Thank you. No, I can go back to my company. This is what was promised. Your company is fine, too, but you have to get out of here alive first. It's okay. Well, don't worry. 
My conference big team is invisible. His confidence in Big Jim is invincible. Um, okay. I'm glad. So, where was that room? Actually, should we talk to him again? See if he mentions anything about uh, feeling a little bit sick. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a fever, maybe? Go ahead, dude. Oh, I guess we can't talk to him again. That's unfortunate. All right, let's get out of here. I can't remember how many shotgun shells we could originally hold for the shotgun. I think it was 24. It's kind of sucky. Um, right, we don't want to go down there again. Let's keep going this way. Ooh. That was unpleasant. I wonder if we can find Anna. Oh, hello. We got... Oh, God. Hello. What? Now, that is a spread. Dude. Whenever you think you can't like this shotgun anymore, it goes and does something like that. I mean, three enemies for the... Okay. Three enemies for the price of two shells. Now, something's rumbling this place. Let's go see Anna. Maybe she'll have some new information for us. Hmm, we're still here. I wasn't... Yeah, which was the... Ah, okay. Can we do anything with this one? Denny's room. Or Danny's. Room is locked, though. That's really unfortunate. Okay. Let's keep going. Don't know where Danny's key is. I wonder if we've missed it somewhere. If there's anything in this storage area. No. But we can reload our shotgun. I mean, it's only a couple of shells, but I'd rather keep them topped up. Uh, let's dump a save here. And keep that one. I don't want to potentially miss the key. So I do want to see what's in Danny's room. I mean, that might not be possible to miss the key. It might just be one of those areas where you automatically, you know, find what you need. But I'm not sure. Right, anyway, let's go down. Uh, yeah. Let's try the second floor. Oh, wait. Wasn't it the bottom floor that we needed the blowtorch for? It might have been. <clears throat> we could have given that Japanese man... Um, yeah, there's nothing here, is there? No. No, let's go right to the bottom. Yeah, we could have given that Japanese man the uh, SMG. I mean, I guess he could have used it a little bit more than we could. Not quite sure how he planned to defend himself. Or is it? Where was that room we were looking for? Network area. Ah, D network area. Yeah, we can't go through there. Storage, men's room, ladies' room, Danny's room. I'm going any of those. Medical room, kiosk, medical area. Hmm. 
Hmm. Metal, lavatory, projection room, shower room, CCD area. I can't remember where. Would it would it tell us what door we need to burn with that? It's a portable gas torch. You can cut a metal plate with it. Us. I can't remember where we were supposed to be going. That's where we came from. Um. I'm guessing wherever it is, we're going back. Can't go that way. This is the way we came in, I'm pretty sure. Bugger. Uh, shit. Right, one second, guys. Let me do some reading. And we're back. Okay, so I'm being stupid. Um, there is no code card or key to find for this door. I guess we just need to burn it. There we go. I was going to say, generally you don't have to go that far in this game, at least so far. That's actually a very nice lighting effect. Okay, well that's one way to get through, I suppose. Ooh, hello. Who are you? John Mayer. Wait a minute. I found a civilian carrying a gun. The name is John Mayer. AK. I'm sorry. Commander Clancy is waiting for you. Please go to his room right away. Uh, sure. I we'll guess. I'm guessing we can't go back? Question mark? Is this his room? This is the ERS room, so, uh, let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah, of course, this is where we originally start. Ah, so we're back to where we originally started the game. Excellent. Let's grab as many first aid kits as we actually can. Let's eat one as well. And then replenish it. Uh... Okay, cool. So, Captain Clancy. I can't remember where he was now. I like the way this place doesn't feel that big. I mean, it feels big, you know, it's an underground facility, but it's not huge. So, the seals are here. That's interesting. It's Duboris's room. The door is locked. Well, I guess we're not going to get into his room anytime soon. This is the command area, wasn't it? Yeah, control deck. Is there actually anything in the control deck? Doesn't look like it. However, the air seems to be running out everywhere, which is problematic. Although, it only seems to be problematic for us. It doesn't seem to have an effect on anyone else which is it's very odd it, i don't think this air system was very well thought out you know i mean it's not terrible it, you know it is what it is i guess but i don't think it's really necessary this there's a conference now only concerned persons may pass okay well we're we're a concerned person Clancy's room. Glad you made it back, Mayor. Thanks to you, we're out of danger for a while. This is SEAL Colonel McCoy, who's come to help in the rescue. Long time no see, John. Uh, Colonel McCoy. You know each other. He was one of my men. One of the best. I okay. didn't know that you were hiding here. I thought you were done with the ocean after that day. That day. There's no time to talk about it now. 
Yes, Commander. Unfortunately, the monsters you were talking about are real. They're humans, but their bodies have been taken over. How's the civilian area? There were some survivors. Most of them were taken over. Should we get started with the emergency planning? Okay. Let's go into the meeting room. I've heard about the enemy's weak points from Gina. Planning meeting? We've got to get out of here as soon as possible. Mayor, I'm sorry, but no civilians beyond this point. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. So I guess we're going to go have a little meeting somewhere now. Let's just have another rummage through this area. So we've met our old buddy, and he apparently is... Oh, we've attained the report on the EEC. The Emergency Evacuation Committee. Okay. MI and DN, the two... Le uh, the two leading major uh, investors of the big table have been asking about the EEC, Emergency Evacuation Committee, for quite some time now and whether or not it will indeed function. However, due to the limited budget we have, the EEC plan has been officially postponed. Therefore, the following have been assigned, to, uh, assigned as temporary measures. 1. The cruiser... Eldridge of the US Navy Pacific Fleet will be the official relief ship if any emergency could, should occur. Two, staff from the ERS will be on board the big table at all times. The ERS, the ERS or Emergency Rescue Service, is a civilian rescue squad founded by former US Army Green Beret Lieutenant Colonel Gabe Riley. Its members consist of mainly former military personnel. Unlike public operated rescue squads, the EIS specializes in special scene rescues. For instance, they are recognized worldwide for their involvement in plane crash rescue in high altitude mountains in 1985 and oil refinery plant explosion rescue in 1997. The ERS has 32 stations in the US with uh, rescue and first aid specialists. They are called in for all types of situations, civilian as well as federal. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, that, that's cool and all, but um, it doesn't really give us any more shotgun shells, does it? Okay. So now what? Let's go back to our room. See if we can go downstairs into the pool. Um, can we go downstairs? Oh, we can go downstairs. See if there's anything down here. I'm going to assume there's something down here. No enemies, though. Storeroom. Don't need anything from the storeroom, do we? Uh... Where does that lead? That's the e pool. Docking area. Storage. I guess there kind of isn't actually anything here at all. Alright, that's fine. Check out the e pool. See if there's anything new down there. Wait a minute. That's the docking area. I've gone the wrong way. Because, of course I have. What would you take me for? Some kind of n expert at navigation? I think not. The docking area. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I don't know why they didn't just call it the e on the map. So it's the same name as the room that you're trying to get into. But what do I know again? So, oh god, that actually... It's the rescue ship Avalon, which the SEAL crew came on. Yeah, okay. Kind of looks a little bit beat up itself, actually. But is there anything here? No. 
thought there was um, oxygen grenades, but I guess not. Let's go back to our quarters, see what's going on in there, and then we go to the colonel, see if we can talk to the colonel. Oh, hello. Mayor, oh. be safe. I was so worried. Yeah, I'm all right. But look, it's because I was there. Don't blame yourself. Mayor, I... Well, that was hideously awkward. Oh, what's the matter, Gina? Mayor, I got kind of scared, so I came here. Oh, uh, this is Dr. Weisberg, MI Area Lead Research. Nice to meet you. I'm Sharon Stake. Nice to meet you, too. Mayor, you, you don't look too happy. Yeah, I met someone I didn't want to meet. What? Colonel McCoy, my former commander. I was in a lot of special missions under him. The team almost got wiped out once, but because of his action and bravery, we were saved. I just barely survived. Anything was possible with Colonel McCoy. But that day... That day. day off in a while. The weather was pretty nice. There was a storm coming, but I was confident in my yachting skills, and I ignored Colonel McCoy's warning. I took Stella out on the ocean. The yacht was swept into the storm. To a storm, the yacht was like a leaf in the wind. Stella was thrown out into the ocean. I tried to save her. There was nothing I could do. It was really nice. Colonel McCoy said nothing. handle the guilt and I left oh. even if I wanted to forget it I, I can't it'll take time as time passes we'll come to understand each other I'm sure I mean, you, the, the game's trying to have this touching, like, you know, heartwarming story dump. And um, then you just get that fucking nonsense <laughs> over the radio. I, I couldn't even really understand what he was saying, apart from, it's terrible. Whatever the hell. Oh, God. I mean, how to ruin a touching... I mean, it wasn't that emotionally spectacular anyway, but so... <sighs> Our former commander, we were with his daughter, we were engaged, and we got her killed because we didn't listen. Damn it! It's a story as old as time itself. Not a dry eye. Not a dry eye in the room. Anyway, uh, yeah, so cool. Anyway, this, this, this Gina girl, she looks uh, just like Sharon, apparently. Wait a minute, nope. Sharon was the... Sharon's the weird kid that was here, who's left, who was playing the joke on us with Mookie earlier. Now, she sounds like a child. Kind of. Yeah. No, she does. Sounds like a child. Her character model does well. Um, <laughs> does not look like a child. So, ah, uh, the jury's out on that one, I guess. Uh, anyway, I suppose we've got to go and do some stuff. Uh, right, so I guess we're going to go and have... Oh, where was... Where was his room? Tobias, or whatever his name is. Oh, you know you're in for some good dialogue now. You know you're in for some good dialogue. Oh, good lord. Oh, I can hardly contain my excitement. Um, anything in his room? Any loot? Oh, hello. Cutscene. Look at this 
man. Was awful. Where's this from? A hidden camera. A bonus for the designer. It's a secret. A bonus? Oh, they're full of it. Like laming muscle heads, cutting me out and starting with meth. Air unit area round a battle. Mmm, boom. It's dangerous to fight there. Oh. Why? Oh, if the air system is broken, not only will there be no air, but there will be a pressure buildup and the building will collapse. Damn. And if all the air leaks into the ocean, the air will expand and cause a blowout phenomenon above water. We've got to tell Clancy and make him stop. Okay, so fighting in the air unit, bad. Building will collapse for reasons. These guys are stupid and apparently don't understand these things. A very detailed scale model of the big table. And they're not listening to this guy. You've attained the big table energy manual. If for some reason, accident or malfunction, the air unit ceases, I think. Set and activate the emergency oxygen circulation system manually. The air system, AS, is a system that filters the uh, te a tetramix in selected blocks, rooms and passages, and maintains a level amount of oxygen. Normally, tetramix is made in the air unit area and is distributed throughout the base, but if for any reason this distribution ceases, the life support system of the base will go into emergency mode. Once in emergency mode, it will be possible to manually control the AS. However, this should only be used as an extreme measure. If there is a water leak, find the source of the leak, then drain using the AS. So the AS can also drain water? Okay. The big table is equipped with a dual air lock with dual airlock doors to improve its watertight integrity. These doors provide a barrier between areas and block from each other, making it impossible for water to flow from one area to another. Okay, so each door is an airlock apparently, but doesn't that mean there should be two doors and a little, okay. I guess they just cut that out in the transition through the door. If a source of a leak is found, activate the AS. It will fill the room with air and push the water out. Okay. How to evacuate the big table. Use the AWS or DSRV to, act, uh, to evacuate. The AWS is a mini sub that will be the easiest access. However, there is a limit to the number of AWS at the big table. If there are not enough AWS, use the DSRV. This deep sea submarine capable of carrying a couple of a couple dozen people. As an additional option, you may temporarily evacuate to the Navy area. In this case, you will need clearance from the Chief of Command of the Pacific Fleet. Okay. And big table history. July <laughs> July 1990X. After the Cold War. So okay, I mean the Soviet Union went south in 1991 so uh, okay the united states started building the ssn 221 sea fox it was a nuclear powered submarine capable of going long on long distance journeys at the same time talks of an underwater fueling facility proceeded by the end of the 20th century congress approved the construction of this facility and the blue uh, gradation product project started March 1990X, the construction of the U.S. Navy Pacific Fleet operated underwater fueling facility, SSB-01, gets approved by the Pentagon. September, Dubos, I can't read his second name, Boris Almerich, 
uh, a special specialist in marine architecture is appointed chief designer of the SSB-1. May 1990X construction begins. April 1990X. Why is 1990X? It's okay. The main structure is built along the Marana Trench, uh, Ma the Mariana Trench, off the coast of Gum Guam in the Pacific uh, Ocean. Additional construction followed. Because of its unique form, platform with four legs, it later became known as the Big Table. The following are the main areas of the Big Table. Navy Area. The US Navy Area capable of docking onto the Big Table. CCD Area. The Command and Control. Ah, Command and Control Area. Center of the Big Table. Apartment Area. Housing Area for those working on board. Energy unit area, power generating system area, air unit area, area controlling the air, makes and cleans air, junk area, waste disposal. May 1990X. With the wave of military budget cuts and the cost of running the base becomes more and more difficult. Uh, the government decided to rent portions of the base to civilian companies. June the following companies enter the big table. MI, a world famous medical appliance manufacturer. DN, a newly risen telecommunications company. And Seafarm, an underwater environment developer. July, new labor standards are set 20 hours a day. 20 hours a day. Max three months. Wait, so you work 20 hours a day? For three months? For up to three months? How about, uh, fuck that? September. The ERS, Emergency Rescue Service, is required to station a team to aid in the event of accidents and emergencies. Yeah, this place sounds as shit as it sounds interesting. Let's just say that much. Right. Anyway, we're on 32 minutes, guys. Oh, I don't want to keep playing to be honest um right well uh where do we go now i suppose i mean we talk to dubai oh yeah we've got to go to the red and white striped door i guess the control deck that one. Who's in here? Oh. The boss. Commander, we called the SEAL teams once. Why? If the area unit is damaged in the battle, the air pressure will expose the big table. We must call them back. Damn. This is Aquarius. Pisces! Pisces, answer! I can't contact the SEALs. I have a bad feeling. Can you go and call them back? Okay. I'll contact them to open the docking area for you. In your hands now. <laughs> of course it's in our hands. It's always in our hands. Okay, that was awful. But, I guess. <laughs> what did we expect? Uh, right. So. Ooh. Which room's that? Conference room. Oh, yeah. They were having a bit of a shindig in here earlier, weren't they? We need to find somewhere to save the game. Anything in here? Ooh. Hey, not bad. Okay. Shotgun shells and a magazine. Don't mind if we do. Uh, right. So I guess we're going to go down the first floor. Where was there a save spot? Uh... Okay, there's actually one in storage, apparently. That's fine. Let's go downstairs and save it there. 
give us a nice place to carry on from next time. Uh, I really want to play more of this. Uh, as cheesy and as awful as this game is in a lot of ways, it's actually really fun. I'm really enjoying it. I don't actually want to stop playing it, but I need to get a week's worth of videos rendered and uploaded um, now. Storage. Let's go to storage. And drop a save. Hopefully this emulator is a little bit more reliable than bloody... Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, more ammo for the submachine gun. How many rounds can we hold for the submachine gun now? 270. That's pretty mad. I mean, this gun's weak as hell. But that really does give us a nice amount of firepower, doesn't it? I like the way you can actually see the bullets impacting on the wall. I mean, maybe if we had like 400 rounds, this gun would probably be a bit more useful. But it is amazingly weak. It's also fun to just... Ooh, actually quite smooth moving around. But I get the feeling... Yeah, there's something about the shooting mechanics. They're just... I don't know. They're okay, but they're just not as good as Resident Evil. Nowhere near. Even, and I'm, I'm talking the original Resident Evil as well. Well, I, I don't know. It's fair to say that they're nowhere near as good, but... They are not as good. I think that's fair to say. Right. Oh, we can't save here. Yeah. Of course we can't save here. Well, let's get some more oxygen out here, I suppose. That's better. Well, you know what we can do? We can F5. So, I'm going to leave it here, guys. We've been going for quite a while now. Uh, when we come back, I guess we're going off to the storage area to call the Navy SEALs back. Apparently. Although, they're in the air area, so why... Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll get there. Anyway, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.